viewers. I'm Mohammad Azuddin from Web Trainings Academy. In our today's video, I'm going to explain about the books which you can refer for increasing your knowledge in uh, digital marketing as well as uh, in general marketing. Like uh, in, in, in general, if you learn this uh, subject, if you read these books, you will be getting a, a lot of in-depth understanding of how advertising and marketing is done in real time scenario. So let's begin our uh, concept of discussion. So the first book category which I would recommend here is marketing concepts. See generally the idea of this uh, category is that it is general marketing. It will be applicable for traditional and as well as the concepts of this marketing also applicable for digital. So this is the core concept which is the fundamental concept of our uh, marketing strategy, fundamental logic of our marketing. So I would be explaining about these books because most of the books I have already referred and have read also. So you can, uh, I'll give you some basic idea what you will learn from that book so that you can understand whether uh, really you want to go to that subject, whether you want to master the subject or not so that you can uh, decide based on that uh, analysis. Now, the first point I would like to here clarify the first book I would like to recommend is Principles of Marketing by Philip Kotler and Gary Armstrong. This book is one of the most popular book and it is also it's in the curriculum academic curriculum of many MBA colleges as well. So which is the principles of marketing is very effective book to understand the from scratch from basic what exactly is the marketing. What are the different principles we follow? What are the different strategies we follow? And one of the good thing about this book is in between the chapters, the author of the book also has given some very effective and uh, relevant examples of some of the good uh, brands and also retailers, etc. He has given examples that how this company have implemented so and so strategy to improve their business. Uh, with the help of uh, their marketing approach. So this book is highly recommended for any beginner as well as experienced professional. If you have not read this book, and one more thing I would like to uh, explain about this book, it will be more academic oriented book, which is a lot of theory concepts will be there. So I would suggest you don't try to read each and every, uh, you know, letter and each and every word in this book. Don't go from uh, A to Z. How would the best way to understand this book is Take on the topics which are right now very essential for you. You want to understand the subject. So see the table of contents and pick up the topics which you want to first start with. That is the best way to learn this book. If you start from chapter one and you start keep reading after one or two chapters, you will start getting uh, bored. You will feel like uh, this is uh, too much academic level subject. For that reason, it is always recommended to read this book in a as per the subject you want to understand, as per the concept you want to understand, this is a very uh, lengthy book as well, approximately more than six, seven hundred pages. I don't remember the exact number, but more than six, seven hundred pages book is. So you have to slowly read this book and you will gain a lot of knowledge about the marketing principle. So this is our first book recommended in uh, general marketing. Number two, the 22 immutable laws of marketing. This is also a very classic book. It's a very uh, it's a book written almost uh, two decades back by some of the some of the most popular marketers at that time. Now, what is the concept you will learn in this book is it will explain you about certain important rules. We should never break in your marketing. Now, what do you mean by that loss? What do you mean by that concept? For example, if you take one of the one of the example given in the book is about your positioning. For example, you are. Uh, brand is position on which level how does the client you know take your brand that is one uh, small example i am giving but there are so many different rules for example should we do product uh, should we do line extension or not for example one company is offering some abc services now because others are also offering the same thing so should we extend our uh, should we extend our services and include that particular products also line extension what are the different things which we have to follow when we are doing the marketing so this book is a superb book you will when you and it's very interesting book it's not too lengthy it is very interesting once you start reading the book you want to complete the chapters as soon as possible that type of interest you get 
in this particular book and you can follow some of this laws even in digital marketing strategies as well some of the very very interesting subject you will explain you can go through this particular book as well the 22 immutable laws of marketing now next one i would recommend is ogilvy on advertising see this book is written by david ogilvy who is the founder of uh, now the present one of the top most advertising agency ogilvy and mather that is a one of the top agencies right now so this book was written by him where he explains about various aspects of advertising like he, one of the good thing i've seen in this book is it will be filled with lot of examples he have uh, whatever uh, he have did some of the most popular advertising in his career some of the most successful campaign of his career he have explained that in the book and explain what is the logic behind this why he chosen this uh, concept one of the a striking example you will see is that about the beetle car you will see there is a particular uh, one specific ad about beetle car that is small is uh, you know good or small is big some some uh, kind of a very very popular ad he has done and that has increased the sales of the beetle car as well in us and other parts of the world so there like this he explains about lot of different subjects like how to run an agency how to get the clients how to maintain the accounts right what exactly advertising is all about is it only about creativity or is it about generating business for the client what exactly is advertising this is a very interesting book uh, about uh, advertising in general but you see some of the concepts you can also apply some of the rules some of the techniques he is using you can also apply for digital marketing then the another book one of the most popular author in marketing and uh, general entrepreneurship and business related books said godin this particular book i like this book about because this book has a very unique approach now what is the basic idea of this book is how to make why you should make your business remarkable now don't don't try to make your business like me to business for example i have uh, let's say i'm running one academy so one of my competitor wants to compete with me so what he will do whatever i am offering whatever i am doing he will also try to do the same thing so what is the problem in that it become too boring right so in this book one example also he has given in the beginning itself now what he says is let's assume you go to a countryside you go to countryside and you see lot of uh, you know green uh, a lot of greenery a lot of uh, amazing stuff is there and then you see some cows and all that now when you first time see that now if you see one particular color of a cow which you have never seen it now you will be striking or wow, amazing you will wait and you will see oh this is very really amazing but let's see as you move on you see more and more and more the same type of uh, cows or same types of uh, scenery you see you get bored now that is what even happened with us but the first time you are very excited but as you move on it's very boring see he explains the idea that if you develop a project develop a business which is like a me too business where your business is same like others so what happens is your your business when it is not remarkable what exactly the problem happen is you will be just like a me too business with other companies so you don't have a particular uh, differentiation between your business and other company business so he explains in this book about what is a how do you transform or how do you change your company into a remarkable company or a remarkable business again in this he has given lot of amazing examples from different parts of the world explaining about different aspects as well so this is a one of the recommended book and one more book i recommended here for general marketing is positioning the battle for your mind i just now have said uh, about the the 22 immutable laws of marketing that book the author of the same book they have also written positioning and this book is completely dedicated to one topic of what is the importance of positioning of the company or the product in the user mind i'll give you a good example you will understand for example if you see in india if you have a if you just understand one thing you may be aware of royal enfield right royal enfield bullet you are aware of you see the positioning of that particular vehicle is basically in a specific category that is you know a macho man like whoever is buying it he he, he feels like you know he is a macho right so the point is the positioning of that bike is given in such a way that whoever buys that bike now if you see so many people so many youngsters are now buying that in fact the if you take the different uh, elements the uh, engine and all that lot of uh, technology is old but still lot of young generation is buying it because the positioning of that brand is given in the 
use your mind in such a way that it is a bike for macho appeal now you consider for example let's assume you take another bike for example ktm now you see ktm has a different type of uh, you can say the positioning if you say ktm bike positioning is all about racing all right they are mostly track oriented you see that is mostly known for the power right so now you see the positioning of ktm is separate and the positioning of royal enfield is separate so what he explains i'm giving example from my side but what i want to understand here is whenever you start a company whenever you start a product the first important thing is what is the positioning of your product in the user mind that you have to understand whether you are the number one on what category you are selecting what niche you are selecting what business area you are selecting you have to define your positioning and it's a very very interesting uh, concept with lot of examples you will see related to this concept and if you see one more example i will give you in india like see jio started right recently we say two years back or so reliance jio started you know the moment they started they had one positioning in the mind first positioning they have said is that they are more data friendly network they give lot of stuff for free and it's more powerful and more cheaper compared to all the existing brands and you see with the positioning now of the reliance jio is basically they are a data oriented network call and all that mostly people go, don't go for it but they will say mostly we are going it for data because they are providing so much of free data and lot of uh, less cost data so that is a positioning has to be said so this will apply even for general marketing as well as for your digital marketing as well so this is also one book highly recommended it is little bit lengthy slowly slowly you have to read this particular book so these are the some of the books i would recommend you if you are if you want to understand the general marketing concept there may be hundreds of other books see i am recommending those books which i have read and i feel definitely it will help you as well so i am not taking all the books from amazon and say read all the books there is no no, no meaning there are so many books i have not included in this i have read them but i felt they are not up to the mark so that i don't want to recommend so i am not recommending some of the books as well okay now let's move on to our subject of digital marketing many student ask me sir uh, do we have any one single book for digital marketing no we don't have the problem here is because digital marketing is a subject a vast subject lot of different topics are there so there is no way that you will have one book for all example you take if you learn medical right if you go into medical field you see so many specialties are there so so many specializations are there can one doctor one person you know have can all the stuff included in one book is it possible technically impossible right in the same manner no there is no possibility to put a complete digital marketing book which has in depth information about seo social media all the topics is not possible so you may have find some books but it will have half knowledge so i won't recommend so better to go with separate books only to get the complete in depth knowledge of this subjects so now here recommended books one of the most popular book written by four different uh, professionals from our industry of search engine optimization like eric eng stephen frenser jesse stricolio and ran fiskin so this particular uh, four are the popular authors and also very popular personalities in the field of digital marketing all right so they have written one of the classic book that is the art of seo in fact when i wanted to first learn digital marketing and seo first i search internet i learned some concepts from internet right but at that point of time also first book i have read was the art of seo where i got the fundamentals right i got the ideas cor correctly and i have understood a lot of information which was not at all available at the at that particular point of time in various uh, online articles so this is a very highly recommended book to understand inside out about the search engine and this is a, a very interesting book and this is all about the latest concept of google search engine like see today you type some keyword for example you type you just type what is the time now right that is uh, basically we know hummingbird what it does it will understand your query it will understand your location and then it gives your time automatically in the form of knowledge graph so this book is all about the semantics semantic means meaning so google search based on meaning of the words okay so this is a new completely and you will find that these two books are completely different there is no relationship between the two this book this book here this is all about general seo 
this book deals about general seo all right whereas this book deals only about semantic strategy that is how to work on knowledge graph how to work on one box answers how to you know how does google one box uh, system works in the back end complete information about the semantic it's very interesting book if you read you will really love both the books so these are the two books i would recommend for seo there are many more books also as i said seo bible is there you know uh, seo for dummies is there there are so many books and because i have not read them i won't recommend those particular books now let's move to the next category social media marketing now for social media marketing again there is a problem see we have facebook we have youtube we have twitter we have so many networks now all the networks one person cannot include in one book and explain you a to z about the marketing so here i would recommend the book of gary that is jab jab right hook it's a interesting book and it is more strategy strategy oriented see most of the books on social media you won't find uh, the concept of like how to create a post and all that is all basics everyone knows that so most of the books try to explain about the strategy how what is good what is what will work what will not work and this book if you read it's so interesting with lot of examples like if you take facebook instagram tumblr so many networks have been discussed and it is a very very interesting book to read i would recommend you for understanding the strategy read the jab jab right hook book it's a very very effective and then another book written by guy kawasaki now this book i would recommend for personal branding mainly this book is for personal branding purpose that is if assume that i want to show myself as a brand let's say mohammad azuddin is my name so i want to make myself as a special specialist in digital marketing and i want to showcase myself as a a professional in digital marketing where i want to gain popularity in the market so what i can do i can maintain my social media profiles i can uh, you know update my profiles on a regular basis now all the concepts of how to how to maintain your personal branding in this book you can able to learn it's a, a small book only you can easily learn that particular book uh, very effectively so these are the two books i will recommend now if you want to learn specifically about facebook or twitter or youtube i will recommend online guides only where you or respective companies have uh, given some guides etc that i would recommend you to learn if you want to learn the technical part but strategy part this book should be fair enough for you next inbound marketing and as we know inbound marketing the biggest uh, the com the company who have uh, you know created this concept and coined this term that is uh, hubspot so i would say this is the best book for learning inbound marketing now i have gone through only uh, few things in this uh, particular i have not uh, gone through all the concepts here just i have gone through the basics but if you really if you even uh, go through hubspot and take their uh, presentation you will understand how effective and how amazing their uh, content is so i would highly recommend this book and very soon i'm going to uh, you know start up this book as well i have only read the basics about the you know fundamental things what are included in this but still i have not completed but i would highly recommend you to go through this particular book and once uh, i will complete then maybe i can give more uh, detail about this book but this is a highly recommended book especially for inbound marketing and then moving into google analytics or in general analytics one of the most popular book written by avinash kaushik that is web analytics 2.0 this is a most comprehensive book to understand what exactly analytics is what are the internal aspects of analytics what are the metrics of analytics how do you measure what do you measure online why you should measure everything about analytics i would suggest you to go with this book and again this is not specific to google analytics this book apply for any subject any topic so this is also a highly recommended book then i would say email marketing see email marketing is a practical subject but still you should learn some basics you should learn some uh, fundamental concept you should know what are the different types of mail marketing strategies we use etc for that i would recommend you to go through this email marketing and how are they it's a very simple book not complicated no technical uh, you know functionality no technical subject will be there basics very good strategies etc will be there i would recommend you to go for this particular book for email marketing and then our uh, next topic online reputation management this is the book i would recommend online reputation management for dummies because see the subject is very uh, you know small subject 
so in this what exactly is uh, online reputation this book teach about is how should you maintain your reputation online that is how you should monitor your business how you should monitor your brand value if there is any negative about you on online how do you remove it where where are the problems you will see what are the issues you will see in online right related to your brand so all these concepts about reputation management you can effectively learn from this particular book so these are the different books i will recommend for you to study so that you can master the subject of general marketing as well as specifically digital marketing now one more uh, question most of the student ask me sir which book you recommend for google adwords i would say no need to buy any book for google adwords because google adwords google itself are providing some amazing and comprehensive guides for google fundamentals google search exam google uh, display advertising google mobile ad all this advertising they are providing the books which you can find out in this particular website so why we should buy a book when we have uh, this is a site you can go through okay academy google academy for ads you can just uh, start out you can directly sign in all right and effectively you can uh, able to log in and you can able to read all the notes from this particular website itself so no if you want you can take a print out of this particular uh, uh, you know guides which will be very effective for you but i would not recommend you to buy because subject will keep changing in google adwords so it is not at all recommended so these are some of the books uh, i would highly recommend you to study and read so that you can able to easily uh, you know work on this particular topics and also if you want to have a look at all this list i will be giving one uh, blog article as well which consists of all this recommended books list so that you can go through my blog article from the description of this particular video as well so i hope you have uh, uh, learned something good from this particular video and if you have uh, learned from this video please uh, like and share our video as well as you can subscribe to our channel thank you very much